Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the delay in content, but I've uh, been busy over on the other channel getting ready for an event uh, for the Lord of the Rings SBG uh, at Hot Lead this year, 2018. So uh, if you're going to be at uh, at Hot Lead, swing by and uh, say hi. Uh, I will be around at the uh, Ontario Hobbit Adventures uh, SBG. I uh, apologize for the noise there, just the computer booting up. I um, want to do a quick video here while I'm waiting for things to dry. Uh, on the SBG side, uh, I wanted to get working away on some more Necromunda stuff. So uh, I've got a couple projects on the go that uh, sort of been on the back burner for a little bit, but uh, I am working on them. Uh, one is going to be some massive underhive, uh, what I'll call concrete footings. Um, so I'm going to go for a very dirty industrial look to match the scattered terrain I've already made. Um, so what I wanted to do was add some really cool and large, uh, just, just for that sort of epic scale, uh, spores. So quick, easy, easy way to do this. Um, you're going to need a base, a little bit of cardboard or foam, uh, and then some spray foam. So what I've done here, mounted it to, uh, this is an off cut of aluminum and built up a substrate or substructure with uh, cardboard on the inside. Leave a little bit showing, that's fine. It'll help you add some detail, make it look like the spore is overgrown. And then uh, this is the large expansion foam. So I've just gone ahead and coated that. And what I'm gonna do now, obviously, is uh, give it a coat of paint to really make it, uh, give it that spore look. So uh, very quick, simple way to achieve a great effect uh, that I think is gonna fit in really well with, uh, with Necromunda. So, I'm going to uh, stop the video right here. I'm going to get the first coat of paint. I'll bring you on. I'll, I'll bring you along with the colors and, and, and how I choose to do it and uh, get you to the finished product. So step one, spray foam the shit out of something. Be right back. Okay, guys, so we're back. And as you can see here, I've given the uh, spray foam an undercoat. Uh, I went with a tan on one piece and just white on the other. So this particular one is going to be a very uh, red, pink, uh, feel to it, uh, whereas as you can see this guy here, I've gone with a green. So I've hit it with um, Beltan green, just the wash. Went uh, fairly heavy on it. Uh, we'll likely go into the very recesses just to add that sense of depth and pick out uh, whether it's with a mix of null oil and, and the green or just lay on more green to build the color up. Haven't quite decided yet, but I really want that sense of depth in the bottom. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with a highlight. Uh, and as far as the highlight color goes, it's probably going to be moot green. So I'm going to go through and give it a very subtle um, highlight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal it. So you've got a number of options with this particular uh, setup. The nice part about the spray foam is it doesn't uh, deteriorate with uh, uh, spray products like regular foam. Um, so what you can do is you can hit it with a gloss uh, gloss varnish if you want. I'm actually going to choose to brush on some Woodland Scenics water effects just because I really want that uh, vibrant glazed look. Um, <clears throat> so that's how I'm going to finish the piece. But I'm going to take you through step by step. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back. I'll do another uh, uh, shade on it and then we'll do the highlight. And then uh, you guys will see the finished product. So uh, stay tuned. I'll get this guy cracking here and I'll be right back. Okay guys, <clears throat> here you can see the uh, pieces after I've laid on the first uh, wash, I'm sorry, second wash, this is the second layer of wash. So that's the green spore and the red spore. So I've left some excessive pooling for sure, I'm going to move that around a bit. <clears throat> uh, and then from there, once this dries, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Woodland Scenics water effect, which is going to dry, it's also going to act to protect the piece. Uh, and hopefully it's going to look like a giant red oozy growing spore. So stay tuned. I'll get the finished product to you right shortly. All right, guys, welcome back. And this is the completion of the spore project. Um, this is the effect that you're going to get after a series of washes and then the application of the realistic water. I think it's a quick and easy way to uh, pull off what I think is an appropriate looking just clump of shit <laughs> spore. Um, you know, obviously you can get as detailed or, or as straightforward as you want with this product. Um, the spray foam lends itself well as it's going to expand, give you all kinds of interesting bulbous masses. Um, you know, let me just jump this off here, see if I can show you. 
just I, I think it gives it a really nice gross uh, gross effect and really for me for, for my Necromunda setup at least um, because of the color choices I've made I wanted to be able to add a splash of color so these are gonna pull this off for me uh, I'm happy with how they've come out I've hope I hope you find it useful and uh, stay tuned for lots more uh, Necromunda content on the channel uh, as a sneak peek I wanted to take a minute and show you guys the concrete form slash footings I've been working on for uh, essentially what what is going to make up uh, my underhive, my my necromunda terrain. So uh, these start life as for whatever reason it does not like to focus on this particular piece. Maybe too much white. Uh, anyways, those pieces <clears throat> begin life like this. So this is actually out of a uh, TV. Um, this is what the TV was shipped in. Um, I've cut them up in varying sizes, and they just happen to appropriately fit uh, what I'm looking for. So all I've done here is actually coat this. In, uh, I tried two different products just for for this particular uh, this particular instance. So the first one is a ready mixed concrete patch, and that's by DAP. Uh, and then the front that you can see the white there that is actually uh, tile grout. So um, I think the tile grout is actually going to work better. I think it's going to have a better adherence. It seems to be fairly uh, fairly robust. Uh, it's added a nice bit of weight to the piece. So uh, I've got about four or five pieces like that that I'm going to build up and then I'm going to have varying walkways and catwalks uh, that is all going to be modular that can then be placed uh, in, in differing setups so uh, I will bring you guys along for the ride once this sets and gets ready for paint um, but uh, really excited to jump on board the Necromunda terrain build adventure um, you know once my other duties over at the OHA are completed for hot lead you know, I really want to take a minute for myself, get some Necromunda stuff done, and uh, this one's going to be key. So excited to bring you the entire table build. You've seen the teaser pieces, the how-to videos. Um, you know, I'm going to carry that on. And also, you know, obviously start with some of the larger, more marquee pieces. So hope you're enjoying the content. Thanks for stopping by, and we will catch up with you guys later. Enjoy your Necromunda terrain, guys.